I'm Jim Byrne from Decide Solutions, and this is TitleBlocks in 10 Minutes. During this presentation, we'll take advantage of existing title blocks created from other CAD systems, modifying those title blocks, setting up anchor points for BOMs and revision tables, saving that title block and template off, and we'll also talk about file locations so that all users in your organization um, are using the same title blocks and templates. SolidWorks does a great job of using title blocks that have, been, that have been created in other CAD systems. All CAD systems have the ability to save a DXF or DWG. Inside SolidWorks, it will walk you through opening this title block and converting it to SolidWorks. Be sure that you select layers selected for sheet format. I only have one layer in my DWG for the title block in this case. Then we can select the template that we want to use. The template contains your drafting standards. Choose your paper size. The paper size shows up in red in this preview, so you can see what your title block looks like on, on the paper. Select center and sheet if your title block is off center, and SolidWorks will convert this title block. You won't be able to select anything right away. Be sure that you right click to edit the sheet format before you add your logo and text. Then insert picture if you do have an image that you're using for your logo. And this brings in a, a number of image types. Drag and drop its location and size. And then I'll start adding the notes for my title block. Under the annotation tab, add a note. You may, not want, you may not want to have leaders on your notes. Turn the leaders off. For positioning, you may want to zoom in a little closer or use your Alt key on your keyboard to freely place the location of your note. <clears throat> in the Property Manager tab, click on Link to Property. We can link this property to the current drawing document or the 3D model that's being placed on this drawing. Same thing for the drawn by field. Click on link to property. We'll link this one to the model. For the sheet number, this will be a couple of properties. Again, we're clicking on link to property to the current document, in this case, the drawing, starting with current sheet. We can place an additional text within the same note, link to property again to the total number of sheets. Scale, we'll link this one to, again, the, the current document. In this pull down, we have sheet scale. The date, the date, when we link it, can be a number of options. There's create a date, which doesn't change, or last save date, I'll go with create a date. And we have a, a setting here for long date and short date. I'm using short date. Long date being the, the words and short date is just the digits. The format of the date is controlled by the region and language settings under your control panel. For example, you may want to change it from four digits to two digits for the year. Material. Of course, when we link this one, it will be to the 3D model. Description. And part number. The part number can be linked either to a, a property or to the, the file name. Some of you use the part number as the file name. Speaking of using the file name, you may want to add a note for the folder location where the drawing or the model is stored. Again, link to property and link this to the folder name. You may also want to enter this information into the title block when you're creating the drawing. 
right click to find a title block. This will create a bounding box that you can resize around your title block and select the text that you'd like to enter in. And SolidWorks will push that information back to the 3D model automatically for you. You can also change the tab order of this over here in the property manager using these arrows. Finally, right click on a corner and set that as an anchor for your bill of material or your revision table. Under the file pull down, we'll save this sheet format off for future use. Before we save the template, right click on the screen somewhere and edit sheet that will exit the sheet format. Under your file pull down, file save as, we'll save the template as well. And I'll let you know what we're saving when we save this drawing template. When you save the template, it will place you in your templates directory automatically for you. The template saves a couple of things. When you right click on your sheet and go to properties, it saves the title block that's being used in that template and the type of projection, first or third angle. It also saves your document property information. Click on your options button, click on the document properties tab. It saves all of your drafting standards, detailing standards, units, line font, style, thickness, and so on. Be sure that everyone in your organization is pointing to the same title blocks and templates. Under your tools options, once again, under the system options tab, you'll find something called file locations. And file locations will point all users to the document template location, which I have here, and my sheet format locations. Make sure that all your users are pointing to the same server. Now I can demonstrate using this title block. I'll start a new part that already has a body in it to save myself time. And first of all, you'll notice that I don't have any properties in this part yet. I'll save this document off. and create a 2D drawing. File, make a drawing from this part, and choose the, the template that we just created. Drag and drop in a couple of views. And we'll enter in some information about this part. Double click right on your title block. You'll notice that these boxes will highlight. And use your enter key to go between each of those edit boxes. And then you'll notice when we go back to our 3D model under file properties, it had pushed all the information back to the properties of the part. Our bill of material will use the same properties that we have here. If you'd like to add the material property, We'll make sure that the material is linked to the SolidWorks database, material database. Then when I change the material and go back to my drawing, you'll notice that it pushed it back over here. Be sure that the material property is saved in that, that model template so that you don't have to do that every time. Remember that the folder location for, the, for this drawing was saved over here in this corner. When I save my drawing off, it places the um, folder location over here for me. This concludes Title Blocks in 10 Minutes. Be sure to check out our webpage for future webinars and tips and tricks in SolidWorks. Have a great day.